hate alcohol. Hi everyone, I'm Sean and today I'm going to be reviewing The Book of Three by Lloyd Alexander. I found about... I need another drink. <laughs> I found out about this book because it was on the top 1000 book list. I'd never heard of it or the author before, but on second thought, the second book in this series is called The Black Cauldron. And I think I may have heard of that cartoon or movie or whatever. I've never seen it. And I am not much a fan of fantasy, so ordinarily I probably would not have read this, but it was on the top 1000 list, so I wanted to give it a shot. First, I've got to say this review will have some spoilers, so this is a spoiler review. Put that right there. Okay, so as I began the book, the first thing that jumped out at me was that the writing was pretty poor. It was definitely written for young adults or even middle grade readers, which is like more toward middle school. So definitely this book was targeted, I think, more toward juveniles like 10 year olds or 12 year olds, something about that age range. So I'm not going to dock the book any... Am I already drunk? I'm already messing up my dialogue. I do that anyway. I need another drink. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So with the book, so with the book, the, so the main thing I've got to say about this book is that at best, I think it was highly derivative of Lord of the Rings and at worst, it was a complete ripoff. To begin, there is a dark Lord in the book named Auron, Sauron as well as this old hero named Gwydion, Gandalf. At one point, Gwydion is captured by an evil sorceress named Akron, Saruman, who imprisons him in her towering spiral castle, Isengard. You're made to think that Gwydion is killed Fly, you fools! But towards the end, you find out he survived, and he shows up at this city, Rivendell, where he reunites with our main character, Terran, who is our Frodo in this case. And at the time that Gwydion returns to Terran and surprises him and says, Yay, I'm still alive! Terran is suffering because he was wounded by a mythical blade just as Frodo was stabbed by the Ringwraiths. And it's at that point at the end of the book that Terran reunites with his companions, just as Frodo does when he wakes up in Rivendell. One of his companions is a dwarf who uses an axe, Gimli. The dwarf's name is Dolly, which sounds a lot like the Hobbit characters Dory, Nori, and Ori. But worst of all, there is this kind of slippery, skulky creature in the book named Gurgi Gollum, who likes to refer to himself in the third person and also almost always uses rhyming dialogue. Slashing and smashing, laughings and chaffings, munching and crunching. Whacking and smacking. Terran also gets a silver maned horse, Shadowfax. And Terran, who is Aragon in this case, also gets this kind of elvish girlfriend named Elonwi Arwen, who apparently later in the series chooses to give up her powers to stay with Terran just like Arwen did for Aragon. More on her in a minute. 
First, I need another drink. <laughs> In the book, Taryn is battling the Dark Lord, and the Dark Lord breaks Taryn's sword. Hmm, a broken sword. Where did I hear about this before? And then the Dark Lord presumably gets killed, but is he really dead? He must not be because there's more books in the series. Just like in the beginning of Lord of the Rings where Sauron gets defeated, but he's not really dead. Now, to be fair, the plots of the books are somewhat different. Lord of the Rings, of course, features Frodo taking this ring to destroy it because it symbolizes evil and that is the source of Sauron's power. In the Book of Three, Terran is a boy? I don't really know how old he is, but he's apparently like one day named a pig keeper and that very day the pig runs away and Terran needs to find the pig because the pig knows that the Dark Lord is going to attack this capital city, Minas Tirith. And so it's this hunt for this pig to warn the city that the Dark Lord is coming. Now that's it for Lord of the Rings comparisons. As to the book itself, Terran, I thought, was an extremely annoying, unlikable character, and it did not get better throughout the book. He's just constantly whining, he's com constantly making mistakes, and he's constantly talking down, especially to Elanwi. And that is something about the book, is that the author apparently wanted Elanwi to not be a passive character. He wanted her to be heroic. And at times I could see it because she does have these abilities. Birds! But every other character in the book just looks down on Elanwi and doesn't really appreciate her, especially Taryn. Taryn routinely is just like, oh, you're just a girl, you're helpless, you don't know what you're doing, you're annoying, all these things. And she is the only one in the entire group who actually has abilities. And that may make it sound like the author did a good job because she's like the most heroic, strongest character. But she, the other characters do nothing but look down on her and she never really gets to assert herself. She just always kind of complains how they're treating her and like, you know, she wants to have her say. She thinks she knows what's right. And in a lot of cases she does, but they just don't listen to her and they don't respect her. They don't really let her use her powers. They just kind of baby over her. And she is really the best one of the bunch, but she's just surrounded by characters who just don't like her. So you may think, well, it's just the first book. There's got to be a story arc and, you know, the characters may come to respect her more and all that. But apparently I read on to see what happened in the rest of the series. And apparently what they decide is that Elanwi just wants to be with Terran, which does not make sense because he does nothing but look down on her. And even apparently later in the series, he just continues to look down on her. And he wants to basically keep her in the castle and not let her use any of her powers. He just wants to shut her up in the castle and just be a house pet or something. And so this is supposed to be this active heroic character, Elanwi. But she just does nothing but associate with his people who look down on her. And the guy she is apparently interested in, Terran, just completely looks down on her and wants to keep her shut away in his castle. And she apparently decides to give up her powers to be with Terran. And it's like, why? Why would you be with this guy who just looks down on you and constantly 
you know, speaks down to you and she's going to give up her powers, which would mean she would be that kind of helpless, just domesticated house pet for Terran, who gets to be the alpha male then, even though he's completely just this unlikable kid. And there's even this part at the end of this book, the Book of Three, where Terran says to Elonwi, he says, speak slower or you'll be sorry. That's what Terran says. Speak slower or you'll be sorry. What kind of abusive boyfriend or abusive husband crap is that? Just telling this girl, you know, watch out or you'll be sorry. Like, what is Terran planning to do with her? And it's just so intolerable the way she is treated and that in the end she decides to just give up her powers give up what makes her special and just be Terran's little domesticated pet he keeps in his castle locked away and that is what happens with her and so that is just the lamest idea for a heroic character anyway in the end I'm going to give this book two stars. I would not recommend it, but it was definitely not for me because I'm not a fan of fantasy. But still, I just did not like the book. I did not like Taryn. I didn't like the writing very much. I thought the book was highly derivative or at worst a complete ripoff of Lord of the Rings. So I'm not going to be reading any more in the series. So that is the book of three by Lloyd Alexander. Have you read this book? What did you think of it? Have you seen the movie The Black Cauldron? What did you think? I hear it kind of follows the plot of The Book of Three as well as The Black Cauldron, which is the next book, but mostly kind of combines those two books. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! I really hate alcohol. Bye.